Hi everyone, Matt here today with Face Kick Flex. So today I had this idea to show everyone how easy it is to make a WordPress site and with a few really, really great tools, a few free and some paid, uh, you can basically make any type of WordPress site you want. So let's get started here. So first off, make sure you have your WordPress site installed. Um, I have mine set up right now. I have a test site under my main domain, mttmobile.us uh, slash test. So, First of all, log into your admin dashboard and go to appearance and themes right away. And from there, what we're going to do is add a new theme. So the theme that I found that has been very, very helpful in achieving this is generate press theme. So we're going to search generate press. Like I said, some of the stuff is free, some of it's paid. This theme is actually free and I'm going to hit install. So once that stalls, activate that. I'm gonna go back to the Generate Press area here so we can see some stuff. The nice thing about Generate Press is it has a customizer built in. I'll click Customizer and you can see some of the things that you can modify. Modify header content, site title, you can hide it, and you can change the height and show the tagline. Upload a logo. We got layout settings. We can change the widths of the content containers. So right now the container width is 1100 pixels. Let's change that down to 800 just for demonstration purposes. You can change it higher too. Uh, I found around about 1100 or so is a good container width for most screens. Nice thing here, header, header layout. You can change the contained fluid. Depends what you want. These are just a few of the options. I mean, colors you can change, base colors, and all that kind of stuff. But what I really wanted to get into is add-ons that are very reasonably priced. And I purchased some of them because I do a lot of client sites. And having these add-ons and the ability to use them for all the sites is a great help. So you can go on over to generatepress.com and click on the add-ons button. And you can choose one of their two options for add-ons. Or you can choose to buy them singly by themselves for $5 a piece. Premium comes with everything. So all the add-ons you need for doing anything you could think of. I was going over to mine and actually install Generate Press Premium Plugin. And it's a very light plugin. It just basically unlocks all the features. So, GP Premium, and I'm going to install it. And once that installs, it'll activate it. And we'll go right over to Appearance, then to Generate Press. And you should see all these things as disabled right now. So, go ahead and enable all of them. So, enable that. Last one. All right. Save changes. Now, all the features are active. So, you have typography, colors, backgrounds. You can export settings. Let's save. Another free plugin that you might want to go ahead and get is for custom sidebars. So just search custom sidebars and it should be the first one that comes up. And go ahead and install that and that will be this one. As you can see, 737,000 downloads. They have a pro version, but I've found that the free one is just fine for my purposes. Okay, so now we have the custom sidebars installed. So what that does is it gives you the ability to create sidebars and assign them to certain pages. Um, so right now if I create a new sidebar, I'll just name it Homepage. Okay, so create sidebar. So now, right now, this has nothing, nowhere, it's not located anywhere. Um, right now, my theme is set up with a right sidebar. So this is the home page. So if I go back and go to widgets and I go to this this has to be checked because it's the right sidebar so if you uncheck this your custom sidebars won't be able to replace this at all so right now let's check that's fine sidebar location and you go down for archives down here as right sidebar for archive types and you put front page save changes and I'm just gonna move a search box over here so we can see for demonstration purposes and there it is there's my search box so very simple to use um, the nice thing is if I go back into the widgets here and I create a new sidebar let's just call this page 2 sidebar and I'm just gonna hit create now I'm not gonna assign it to anything at all but what I'm gonna do is let's just put some content in there let's go to meta put meta in there okay save let's go actually sidebar to meta and now I'm gonna go and make a new page 
and actually select what sidebar we want. So let's go to here. And then down on the right here, you have your sidebars. So right now we have a right sidebar, and we would normally use the right one, but we're going to do page two sidebar, which is the one I just created. So also, if you look, you also have sidebar layout. You can select for this single page. You can change the sidebar layout. You can make it have three side or two sidebars, and hit publish, and you'll see the new sidebar is assigned to that page. So that's one of the really nice things about having custom sidebars on your site. Now that we have those add-ons in Generate Press, if we go to the customizer, we're going to see a lot more options in the Generate Press area here. You can change the spacing for all this stuff, uh, the separator spacings, the heights, of the primary menu items, um, like the menu here. I don't really like that blocky big look, so I'm going to change that height to 40, and now it looks a lot better. You could change the padding for the widgets, like. Sidebar widgets over here, real big space here. Let's change that to 20 on the right, 20 on the left. And that just resizes. Also for the content, we can do the same thing. We can let's just change them all to 20 here. And it resizes all that stuff for us really nicely there. So that's what the element spacing can do for us. Among that, you can actually change colors for things like the base colors, header colors, navigation bars, sub-navigation bars, content colors, the navigation colors. I can change the background to nothing. Boom. Now there's no back background there. Or I can change it to red. So I just chose all these colors, right? We can actually apply images to these too. Right now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a free image off of Bing and I'll apply it to it. So let's go to images and search for woods. Okay, and let's do the content filtering. Alright, so let's choose this. Okay, so now let's choose this. Okay, so we got the image, um, the free image from Bing, and what I want to do is just change the background here. So <clears throat> let's go back to background images right here. We'll click upload, drag that image in there, and use image. So that's uh, kind of a nice thing that we can do. On the sidebar here, too, you can choose backgrounds as well. So sidebar widget colors, you can change the colors to whatever you want. That's pretty much it for the Generate Press part. You know, basically it's all about appearance, layout, and styles. The um, third thing I would like to show you is a plugin that is a paid one, and it's called Visual Composer for WordPress, and it's an awesome plugin. There's so many things that will make your life tons easier if you just basically know nothing about HTML. This, this is a plugin for you. So in Google search, just type Visual Composer, and it should be the first thing. Um, the, the cost for this is 28 bucks, very low one-time fee, and you can get updates for it for the rest of the, of the life of it. So I'm going to go over to my plugin area and install that. Um, I already purchased it, and I'm just going to upload it. So let's see, plugins, JS Composer, and install. So activate that plugin. I'm going to go ahead and add a new page here. And put this as home. Publish. And then I'm going to go over and make that the home page. Alright, so let's go back to the site here. Now we have this new button up here. Um, called Edit with Visual Composer. Now you can actually have Visual Composer your editor for blog pages and regular pages. By default it's set to just pages. Um, if you want to make that work for anything just get back in your dashboard here go to your plugins and under the settings here for Visual Composer just click post up here and hit save. So now we go back to the main page here 
and I'm going to click Edit with Visual Composer. So what it is is a JavaScript based um, composer for WordPress. So as we're in editing mode here, you'll see the bar on the top here. Um, guides are on. You can see like the different styles for um, responsive. You can kind of look at them in the live preview here how the site looks. Um, it's a really nice feature if you're designing for mobile devices and desktop. So one of the nice features here, let's go to the um, little plus sign here. This is a add element button. And you have all these nice little buttons where you can click to add stuff. So you can add a widgetized sidebar, which is really nice if you want. If you have a set sidebar that you want to insert into your content, you can easily do that just by clicking that and select the sidebar. We'll just do the one that I made for that and hit save. And there it is. Now, let's just say, oh, hell, I want this to be on the right side. You can easily do that by clicking the roll button here, changing the roll layout, be it split in two, or you can do two thirds and one third. So you click that, click update, and now you have a one third and a two thirds here, and you can drag the sidebar over to the other side. Now I have this area to add more stuff. I can add text, I can add buttons, I can add accordion features, all kinds of different things on. There's also icon fonts. So let's just do a text block so I can show you what we can do here. For now I just wanted to go and show you that there's this awesome area for design options. Here you can actually change the background color. You can actually put it to a different color than what your content would be. So now I have two different colors here. Or you can select the image. So let's say I want the tree in there. Well now I got a tree for the image. And let's go back to this text and make this text white so you can see it. Now it doesn't look very pretty here. It looks like it's right on the edges. So what I want to do is go back to the design options and change the padding. Well, let's just go with 10 pixels all the way around it. Hit save. Now it looks a lot better. Well, and now, you know, you can basically move, do anything you want with this. I can clone this whole row. I can actually save this by clicking this button up here as a template. Let's just say generic template. Now I can use this throughout the whole site on any single page by simply clicking this. And it imports that whole thing I just saved right in here. Pretty sweet. So, click update, and let's go and check out the back end editor. It has two versions it has a front end editor for live views, and a back end editor for just doing things quickly without worrying about previews. So, same concept you get these little hover things that pop up so you can click on stuff. You can edit as you see fit, or you can remove. I just want to delete this text block. Let's do that. Oh, let's say I want to delete this one. Okay. Or you can choose to delete the whole row. Delete. And then you can hit preview to just preview it. So that's that. So basically, you have the ultimate WordPress site with super easy to use editor and this back end editor and the front end editor. Really nice things about it is it's fully customizable, there is no limit, and you really don't have to know anything about CSS or HTML. Well, that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash facekickflicks. Thanks, have a great night.